crispy testicles in your fridge. Are we live, Matt? Yes. Uh, so let me get this straight. No swearing for three minutes. I thought straight was swearing. No, straight is, is okay. I checked. Um, it depends. A, a gay person could use that word in a derogatory way, making it a swear word. No, we're good. I checked. A gay guy could say something That's like... That's so straight. Oh, yuck. You are being so straight right now. And then that is a swear word. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, nah, because you're not... We'll talk about it. Was what deemed, what's deemed as a swear word? Is it if you find it offensive, it's a swear word? It's just a sound. Yeah, that's possible. But I think if, I think if we're just sticking in the, the, the top eight swear words. Because I can think of swear words. I can think of them too right now. Yeah. Think of the main ones though. Do you want oh, me don't to say, say them? them. I'll say Just, them. No, don't say you them. You fucking cunt! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> you fucking cunt! <laughs> <laughs> We're ruined. We're all fucking cunts. <laughs> um, uh, it's time. Oh, uh, demonetized. <laughs> do you want? Do you want? To oh s- well, next week. <laughs> do, you, do you want to see my wig this week or what? Oh. <laughs> You don't oh, yeah? know yet. Matthew Brown does not know yet. Oh, there's a reason why he's wearing a hat. Who can <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, yuck. That's not the reaction I was hoping for. He's, it, the front looks fine. But I've got no hair, so I'm like, yes. Yeah, but I would yes, prefer to have team. no hair than this. But I decided to leave it. Uh, oh, oh, it looks oh, like your. Oh, it feels weird. It looks like, like your patch. Sore. Can I touch it? it looks like your no, patch from it's stress. It's sore in some places. <laughs> it's sore in some places. Like it's been he's burnt. Sore. He's sore on his head. <laughs> I made him sore. What, Do you know happened? what happened? Yeah, hair removal cream. Mm. Fucking oh, well for, done for like probably thirty to forty minutes. Burn. Yeah, it hurt a bit now. Yeah. Anyway, um, so fuck. What do we got happening? <laughs> what's, I'm so glad I'm on this side. <laughs> what's what's happened, boys? Nothing. We've had a, just a normal week of work, a normal weekend, and now it's episode 32. It's only after this one, eight episodes left, and we have not started even looking into the live <laughs> finale. Yeah, we have to find venues. Let's do That's that the first Monday. Day. If someone could just organize this for us, that would be so good, eh? Oh, oh man, it's fucking crazy busy, eh? There's definitely venues. I think the biggest risk for us is getting stopped by um, that thing out there. We won't talk about what it's called, but... The law? The pandemic. Uh, no, nah, I reckon... Because um, in eight weeks' time, what is it? We got, we're in, what, September now? <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> So it will take us to November. The beginning of November will be our final episode. So that's a while away. I I still think we will be risky. You know how you get those sometimes when you really strain your body, you get the little electricity worms? Electricity worms coming in? Yeah, yeah. No, I call them the fairies. What? In your eye? Sparkles. Yeah, you see them in your peripheral. <laughs> these All the sparkles. Yeah, the, you can follow and you go, uh, and it bounces No, back. no, I literally yeah. look at you and I can see them. Mm. And then they fizzle, <laughs> fizzle out. It's exciting. Fizzle out. Yeah. Fizzle out. I get it when I stand up every single time. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's not good, eh? It's too much electricity in our brains. Oh, man. Of, it's like a sign of intelligence or something. I read that. Yeah. Hi, Einstein. Cute. Uh, anyway, episode number 32. Um, like I said, nothing really going on new in our lives. We're working behind the scenes. We got the fucking OnlyFans is out, if you haven't heard. The link will be in the description of the YouTube podcast. So go on. So I haven't even seen, I don't have an OnlyFans account yet. How many people have signed up to it in that? Yeah, fuck. Let's have a look right now. Um, can we just explain how it's working? Because um, I did get, God, I can't remember Attacked. the guy. But um, someone did ask me, what would you rather me sign up to, the website or the OnlyFans? Oh. But I just want to say that the OnlyFans is free. Yeah. And um, and to support us would be the website. So so the OnlyFans is, is free or we're just going to post extra shit on there. And we're just sort of going to start building it just in case uh, this gets deleted, this YouTube channel. So, yeah, if you want to support us, the OnlyFans is just if you, if you feel like looking at some really 
high quality, really well done, like sexualized photos of us three. That's only for you, for those specific people. If you, if you, if that's not for you, then don't worry. Cause you're not missing out on anything else. But if you want to support us and the whole fucking podcast, then you subscribe to our website. It's like $10 Australian a month. Um, and we fucking post one huge vlog every week behind the scenes of our lives. And just we make videos that we can't post to social media on there. Okay. And what did we just post? What did we just fucking do on the website? Didn't we just do we, something crazy? We, golly, we did some, some smoothies. No, no, no. The one that's coming out. Oh, yeah. Holy fuck. Oh, Holy fuck. This is the best... Okay, the so, best week to sign up. So members, current members, you'll you'll remember a video. You laugh, you lose. Michael and I really stepped it up and oh, and really good. went hard to try and make each other laugh. Anyway, we did a part two of that. It should really be called a part poo. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of it, but that um, is out right now on the website. Okay, and that got f- pretty fucked up. Pretty yeah, fucked. Should up. we give a hint? At there's poo maybe involved. something about the golden and, bottle. And Julian was involved. Yeah, that's what that's what reminded me. Michael fucking poured the entire golly bottle all over his fucking head. You know what? We should get that clip and put that on the OnlyFans for people who can't fucking afford the website. Because that, because people on the podcast have fallen in love with the golly bottle. Yeah, it's yeah, very golly bottle love it or hate it. Here. I miss it already. So I've already started should... making another one. But yeah, I reckon. So I reckon it's we... pretty important. Also, Julian, shout out to you. Yeah, Julian took it. Look, he, he Julian did some things that he he probably prefer we didn't say <laughs> on the podcast, but there was it got very extreme. I don't mean to tease anyone for not being able to sign up, but um, yeah, there's no way we could ever post. We probably can't even make a trailer to promote that episode. Yeah, we yeah. Like, what are we going to show? It's, it's just going to be everything's just blurred. It's a fucking fucking mess. It got weird. Right where you're sitting, Matt. Yeah, dude, and oh, uh, you've have you got shoes on? Yeah, damn it. Okay, I was gonna say like there was a lot of mess golly. there, a lot of golly, man. Not like, just golly, like fucking- every everything. And I, I've never ever once used soap there, dude. Like, I'm I just okay. wiped the it fucking up. golly no, bottle, the fucking golly bottle, just slopping all over him. It's exactly those hard bits. <laughs> and then after it looked like there was like. Some feta cheese little dots on his fucking. Did you get any in your eyes or mouth? The flies. Oh, the flies on his caked on his forehead and stuck there. All the flies stayed on the face and smelt amazing. So bad. Yeah, I fucked up the house for like twenty four (sighs) hours. So anyway, that's on the website, okay? And I'm sorry about that. And fucking, of course, our other sponsor. Keep going. Manscaped.com. These crazy bastards are the only ones willing to sponsor us and fucking good on them because they make some good shit. All right, they sponsor shit like the UFC and stuff. So you know they have to have good quality products mm. if they're sponsoring shit like that. I've they used got, them. Yeah, we all use them, right? They send us shit, now we use it. You get great ball shavers, just heaps of cool shit for your nuts and dick mm. and balls. You can put shove up your shit... Put shit up your dick hole. There's stuff for your towel, for your ass. You can pull the hair out with a fucking snips. Yeah, with this thing. A pair of snips. Heaps of cool shit. If you want 20% off any product on the manscaped.com website, use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20. <laughs> FULLYACTUAL20, all one word. And if you don't want the discount, just buy the product. Yeah, yeah. If you, by all means, don't use the discount code if you don't want to. If you want to you pay- got heaps of money, yeah, fuck if- it. Or if you just want to pay full price because you don't you don't like handouts or something like that, you know you 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 have this weird pride and this weird ego and you don't fucking want a discount code, you know that's fucking that's for dickheads that's for stupid idiots. Oh, who needs a fucking discount code? I'm I'll pay full price, thank you. You can do that too. Just don't use a discount code. Yeah, my dad's like that. So oh man, like your that. dad was such a fucking strong character in that house. <laughs> other than that if you can't support us by doing any of the shit we just mentioned that's fine <clears throat> yeah just fucking just be more be man just chill have fun enjoy and of course if you feel like it but like only if it's really easy and it's not too much trouble and you like the videos 
uh, you can like give a thumbs up if you feel like it or comment if you can't even comment just comment comment you can show your appreciation in in other free ways no, oh, we have the podcast awards coming up. You can show your appreciation when that comes out. Exactly right. We're going to be asking you guys to vote for us. We're going to spend a lot of time just begging. So prepare yourself. Yeah. For- and if you sh- if you send proof, we will send a video. Yeah, well, you, you'll see all about that on our social medias. <laughs> no, it's great to see though. <laughs> no, that's for sure. Very strong character, your father. <laughs> he actually would get bargains, I think. He wouldn't get full price. I don't know. I he think was, I was trying to just, he was just act like I came like... Such a strong character though. It's hard to tell with him. You know what I mean? He's like a bargain, like Greg, you know? Yeah, yeah. Very, Find that bargain. Very sort of strong character bargain hunter in a way yeah just doesn't like greg he's just a very uh the shape is just sturdy it's a good call exactly right yeah so basically that's that and on this episode what do we got we got fucking diary entries we got some po box shit we've got a couple of one big box in particular mm. <laughs> i saw in the comments fucking donut films has said he's sending something matt he has mentioned that he has sent something and we all quivered in our fucking boots yeah was it the last time that he sent teeth uh, and teeth, skin foot skin cum oh, and shit. he's a child <laughs> this, no. boy, this boy this is a child sending his cum in dude <laughs> do you know what that means what are we I, i've had a child oh you've rubbed kid come on your arms I've gone too far. Kid, come on your arm. (laughs) I've gone too far. (laughs) Teenage. I didn't know that he was. You can't fucking say that. Yeah. Yeah. He should have checked his ID. That won't hold up in a court. He should have checked his ID. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Donut Films has sent something, so uh, get ready for that, guys. I'm sure it's going to be just lovely. You know what I was thinking? What? I reckon you. Should make a uh, candle out of your earwax. Start collecting it. Or make an egg that. out of it and eat it. Just get it out and scrape it in a container. Everyone. Yeah. Okay. I can do that. And then within maybe... Should we all do that? It, yeah. it will take... Six months. Years. You reckon years? No. I reckon, it, I reckon by halfway through next season, <laughs> there'll be something there to play with. And then we can- Maybe a small candle... Yeah, yeah, just like maybe that big or something. Hey, what's so gnarly about that though? Just it would be look Some so Some people funny. can't handle the wax. And I want to see really? if wax is, is the same as other wax. Is it? Yeah. You like, can put it in your hair. Mate, well, I mate, guess we I have guess to we'll fucking find we out, have to mate, do it. I guess we'll bloody oh. find out. <laughs> <laughs> Such strong yeah. characters. Yeah. Such got, strong characters. Some. Sorry. <laughs> I'll get a container or something. Yeah. Like Dude, that. I can get shitloads out. You've seen. Yeah, Michael can get like little pyramids. <laughs> but Dude. that's only when you have ravaged your body. No, that I think it's... I'm like that permanently. So Michael's ear holes produce a lot of wax because there's always insects and shit going in. I think it's not good if you produce heaps of wax. It means your body's got a lot of toxins. I really? think. I don't know. I might have made that up. Yeah, I think you make that up. But there you can, go but um that's oh maybe there could be an explainer today a question for yeah Google. i Basically. hope that we yeah so we got po box we got we got doppelgangers doppelgangers we're going to explain some shit we got questions and of course we've got ourselves a very cheeky prank call with mr arnold fine mm. seeing if he can book a table at a restaurant for his wife and her guide pig what do you reckon it's 50 50. Exactly right, mate. Diary entry. Diary entry. Here we go. Diary entry. Number. <clears throat> Diary entry number 139 from Michael Corey Brookhouse. Is it bad if you're coughing up phlegm as firm as rubber? <laughs> Do thoughts have thoughts? Like, can you think, think? <laughs> Technically, if you think about it, everyone is here at the same time. I'm here, you're there, which is here to you. And you're over there, but it's here to you. So, yeah, don't forget about that one. Oh, dude, that was fucking near perfect. I wish you said that. Say that here to there thing again. 
If you think about it, everyone is here at the same time. I'm here. You're there, which is here to you. Which is just here with a T, you should have said. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. That would have been perfect. But yeah, that is fucking spot on, dude. Well done. It's fucking very good. <clears throat> what about Matt's diary entries? Very good. I'm, I love them. I've come around. I think it's, it's confident. Okay. It makes uh, dinner at my mum's place very interesting. <laughs> it's very confident. If she finds out. <laughs> <laughs> diary entry number 109 from Marty. <clears throat> Today was Mustard Monday. Mustard Mondays are my favorite because mum gives me a jar of mustard for lunch. I have to eat it in secret because the other students think it's disgusting and weird. Sometimes I say, it's mustard. You should try it before you make fun of me for eating it. Well, to be honest, I don't say it because I think they might attack me for speaking. But I think it to myself in German when no one else is around. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> you only think in German? Why is that? Oh, just in case they can understand me or something. <laughs> if the think's thinking... Yeah, well, the think can, and think on the think. If they can hear my thoughts or something. <laughs> they thought that. That's what Germans think. They it's, thought that. So if they can hear my thoughts, then obviously they're going to attack me. Yeah. Okay. So I have to do another layer of protection. That's smart. Matt's touching his phone. He's looking at it a bit confused. No? He's leaning back. Must have been nothing. He's looking at us now, expecting us to carry on. And he's still looking at us. He's leaning Dude. towards <laughs> Do you know speaking Nikki out. mentioned that speaking. she thinks that's one speaking. of the best parts of the Marty commentates me? If we know about yeah. Nikki. Yeah, we and do. Looking at us, hoping that we answer him. And uh, Michael sort of has. Yeah. And, uh, oh, uh, hoping that you talk back. <coughs> Diary entry number <laughs> 69 from Julian James, Tennyson Woods from Ashgrove. 4060 until I die. <laughs> Yee! Get fucked! Today I got jumped by some Southside dogs. I was <laughs> I was scrolling on my phone, so I was basically unresponsive. And they took like twenty five dollars cash and my computer from my bedroom while I was on my bed. I came to after I'd finished watching every David Dobrik video and knew it was them because they even tagged their tag on the walls. Fuck! If only I just looked up briefly or even just heard them, I would have absolutely smashed them cunts. <laughs> Time to get more fucking army together, Josh and Cursor. They've started a war, cunt. Stab, stab, twist, shit, slap, neck, fat, blast the AC, cunt. Stab. <laughs> <laughs> Very strong character. Oh, man, he is. Oh. Diary entry number 1076 from Matthew Gregory Brown. I barely slept. How could I? I had been had by a morbidly obese six-year-old woman. Oh, this must be like a continuation from last week's. I'd been had. <clears throat> I had to have her back. Not only to show her, <laughs> but to prove to myself that I was the top haver. I spent the day dipping my brown nut bag onto a hot grill. The heat stimulates my brown mints. Once midnight came, I began my hunt. I bounded backwards to the park where I'd been had. I picked up her scent and bounded backwards until I was close to the source. I slowly approached the backyard of where the scent was leading me, and as I rounded the corner, I saw her. She was branding herself with a hot spoon and, without looking up, said, I've been waiting for you, Brown. <laughs> she must have known I was coming I fight back the fear and step closer to her Who are you? I yell It does not matter All that matters is I've had you And I, <laughs> and I will have you again she stopped branding herself and looked up at me. She smiled to reveal her long, sharp teeth. My little brown stirs, and I attack. She launches herself at me, and our bodies collide with a slap under the moonlight. We explosively struggle to gain the upper hand. I connect a hard right straight to this bitch's fucking jaw, but she did not slow. I stab the entire length of my thumb deep into one of her eyes, but again, she keeps advancing. I attempt to grab her throat, but am left defending myself against her slashing fingernails. She plunges her 
nails into my back fat and rips straight down. <laughs> I let out an almighty yell as she slashes my face and punts my brown sack. I drop to my knees, blood gushing from my wounds. How is she so powerful? I feel her breasts wrap around my neck and start choking me. I struggle to pull the tits off with my own hands. She's screaming as loud as she can in my ear and I think that she has bested me. I feel her fingers enter my ass. I become lightheaded and start losing strength. Then... Let him go, choir! Another voice yells. I felt the woman's grip loosening. I manage to stay conscious as she lets me go and steps away. I look up, and there I see Queston. He's flicking his chest, Clinton, staring at the woman who was just fighting me. This is what you wanted, Queston, she said. Let me finish him! No, choir! This is not how I want it to happen. It has to be fair. The woman named Choir continues to stare at me, and I can see she wants to have me. <laughs> Who is she, Question? I manage to ask. Matthew, this is our real mother. Her name is Choir. I found her when I was searching for ways to have you. She left us with Dad after we were born. What? That's not possible! I know you're confused right now, Matthew, but prepare yourself for me. Choir, or mum, is training me to be the most powerful haver the world has ever seen. And my first have will be you. We will see you soon, Matthew. I can't wait to have your mints fill my organs. And with that, they walked away. My mind was spinning and I was badly injured. I stumbled home, wrapped myself in glad wrap, and went into a deep sleep. Matt's mom's name's Choir. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. <laughs> That's the shittest name. Choir. <laughs> She's getting like very uh, oh. Oh. psychologist-y. Oh my God, dude. Oh, that was the best part of the story for me. Was the name was Choir. <laughs> I can't believe that that's happened to you, Matt. That that's all 100% factual. <laughs> like, it's honestly hard to believe. That's fucked up. Oh, my God, dude. So the person you've thought is your mom all along is not your biological mother. Your actual mother is Choir. Oh. Oh, dude, <laughs> Daddy, the fucking names that you generate are great. Fucking. I don't know what you're talking oh. about. Question. Fucking. Anyway, uh, should we have a moment of silence for a choir? No, we should move oh, on. All right. All right, we'll oh. move on. The next segment has been renamed to... <laughs> <laughs> Strong characters. Oh. Oh. Oh, good. And this is a segment where we answer the questions that you write us. You comment on the fully actual YouTube <sighs> channel. All right. Now, if you want your question asked, all right, ask it, and then the que I answer the questions that are the most liked. Don't we? We started them and then we work back to them. We ones. work back. Some are good and they, I think they get missed in the pile. So have a comment. So I do look at them all. And then have a scroll through and like the questions that you want us to answer and we'll try and answer them first. We, we do read all the comments, all right? So keep them coming. I love nothing more than spending my Monday nights reading through the comments, stroking our own egos. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, laugh like that when Mon's trying to sleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In bed at 3 a.m. when he can't get to sleep. Throwing wine on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What happened, Marty? Someone called me the best. <laughs> the breasts. Anyway, it was a tie for top comment. Oh, here we go, cunt. Yep. <laughs> It was between Wild Boy 55 and Jonathan Smith. <laughs> Jonathan Smith. <laughs> what a great name. We'll start with Wild Boy. Question for the podcast. When is Jordan... <laughs> <laughs> Choir. <laughs> it's such a good name. <laughs> it's sorry. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> No! Shh. When is Julian and Lockie going to have a showdown? 
with Marty and Michael in Julian's Corner and Jackson in Lockie's. That would be so funny. Why? What, like boxing? I don't know. Is there something relevant to that? Because he's asked it a few times and a lot of people liked it. Maybe it's because like Lockie films for Jackson because Julian films for oh, us. Oh, like, like a, a, a filming a rivalry. Film off. Maybe they could have a film off. They have to both film the same three objects and then use their editing skills to try and make that video funny. Who's better at CGI? What about this? Scrap that and we do this. I'm timing it. Tell me when to start. Now. Oh! I couldn't enjoy it because I was focusing on fucking tech. Trying to time it and it fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not my best. Not my best. I didn't even hear it in my ears. Like it's gone in my head. I didn't even get to enjoy that because I was focusing on the time. It's a bit watery. It was a... Uh, was it good? No. It was like a rap video. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, exactly like a rap music video. That probably reminds us <laughs> if you if you got farts on recording, oh, send them into the... Oh uh, my God. Oh yeah. How Instagram. could we forget? How... Okay. Ne- new segment starting next week. Well, as soon as we get some, basically. Well, yeah, which will be you next week. Hopefully, guys, send them in, okay? We, we, we could, this, I can't believe we haven't thought of this earlier. This could quite possibly be our best segment idea yet. Yeah, it's good. And all we want is for you to record your fart. And record send it, it in. I thought they were going to send... Oh. I fucking misjudged. No, I, I misread this. Bag, like I honestly jar? thought they were going to send their farts in, oh, and we'd yeah, that's we'd way smell too much effort. Look, if you no, want to, recording. if you want okay. to, you can fart in a jar. I want but yeah. If you want to, you can fart in a jar and send that into our PO box. But for this segment, all we want just please do just you don't have to film your ass or anything. Just be recording so it catches the audio. So just press record, film the sound of your fart. And send it in. Because we're going to start playing them and timing them. And whoever gets the longest fart by the end of the season gets $1,000. Wait. I just thought they're going to fucking... They're going to cheat this. They're going to cheat. All right. Yeah, true. Maybe just pick the funniest. Maybe you have to show your asshole. No, no, no. So you can see. I like the idea of being an easy audio. You just want to see it. You just want to see a bunch of assholes. You have to fucking have a wank over here. But um, (laughs) if you send it to the Marty Michael Fully Actual Instagram, there is the option to record audio like right in your replies. That'll probably be the easiest way to do it. Nah, because we want them to to, to be able to play again and again. Yeah, but they do, don't they? Depends how they oh, send them. Okay, maybe I don't know. Right. Um, Cut yeah, that corner. Just, <laughs> just send them to the fully actual, I guess. Yeah, fully to actual Instagram. Instagram or so just, Marty and Michael fully actual. Yeah, ju- just send them to us via Instagram. The fart sounds, <laughs> and we're just gonna play the fart, and we'll rate them. Yeah, we can rate them in the comments. We can rate them. We can we can have we can have a discussion about each fart. We can yeah, discuss we'll, each fart. They are. It's it's like art to us. So we can discuss each oh, fart. I thought Should you I bring were a speaker, stand up? especially for the fart segment. It's very so important. It's so I think we the and we good. treasure this sort of stuff. So we are the ones to judge it. If you think about it. And look, we can time it. We can see. We, I know people can cheat, so we'll be aware of that. But you know, just send in. Just be real, man. Don't cheat and send in your farts, and let's just time it and just see what happens. That's a great segment, man. Can't yeah. believe we haven't started that yet. Send in your fart. Yeah, it's very good. It's quite exciting. I actually thought that it was going to be send in the scent itself. So no, I no, fucked no. up there. Yeah, Michael thought I meant s- fart in a jar. Because then we could smell it. And How are they going to do that? You send it like the P.O. box. How the fuck are they going to do that? <laughs> they fart in it, seal it, send it, and then we smell it and we say what sort of scent it is. Because I'm good at scents. You know what? You're very yeah, good at scents. Very good. It's not going to work. But uh, I yeah. prefer to Where's use- Donut Films Send it in So we can see if it yeah, works Donut Films You should send your fart in Yeah no Send your farts in I want to know like if it works. Wait is this illegal You guys asking a child Oh fuck, fuck. Well, It's not sexual I don't, I'm not getting off over the fart I have seen you actually. Yeah. I have seen you wanking Yeah that was a lie <laughs> Not sexually getting off That's, no, that's but a you put lie the, again You put the skin on your hand And then wanked yourself with it <laughs> The fart said.
No, the, the skin that he oh, sent him. Oh, the foot skin. And, and you had the teeth in your mouth and you're <laughs> moving them around. <laughs> this sound. Oh, Why are you touching them? I don't know. I feel like they're clean now. <laughs> Can you explain to everyone on uh, Spotify oh, what yeah. you just um, did? There's someone, I think Donut Films yeah, he did, yeah. sent in these false teeth, that are real teeth. So we just play with them. You think for false teeth, they would make them a bit whiter, you know? Like They're not like super yellow, but just maybe a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> We could make some TikToks with this or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely could. Imagine um, the greens having the green suit and just having the teeth there, uh, popping out of an opening or something. That would be that'd be crazy. That'd be next level, mate. Let me tell you. And for you to say something like that, like you are a strong character. Yeah. Should we continue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Jonathan Smith, who also got top one. Um, question for the podcast, Marty: If you if you had to choose between taking a shot of <laughs> Matt Brown's man juice or a shot of the golly bottle to save Bosley's life, what would you choose? I'd have, have your cum. <laughs> yeah, I would. Any too. day of the week, at least with the cum, I know I can't die. Yeah, you'd, and I'd and pineapple it up and for then you. There's a fucking funny story for the boys too, can't? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But the other way, if I do the golly bottle, I could die. Yeah. And there's no golly bottle anymore. Yeah. Michael has <clears> emptied <throat> the contents all over himself. One of the most sickening things I've ever seen. All the while, some like orchestra music was playing. It's like the Halo theme song. Do you know that song, Matt? The Halo theme song? No. I play Fortnite with okay, Julian. Sorry. Yeah. You and Julian <laughs> play so much Fortnite now. Yeah. Julian loves Fortnite. Yeah. Oh, if anyone's keen to play uh, Julian in Fortnite, add him, yeah, ask him. He's, but he's fucking good though. He's, he's been obsessed playing with yeah. Fortnite now. Like, yeah, that's like all annoying. He, yeah, he fucking doesn't even go out and, like, well, on oh, weekends fucking, anymore. He just plays Fortnite. That and Pokemon. He, like, he's yeah. re-watching or like the, all yeah, of he's, the Pokemon he's, oh, episodes. Serious. He's loving all the nerd stuff from back when he was in primary school, I think. He yeah. loved it as a kid too. Yeah, I was like driving that. to work the other day and because I got to go past his place and I saw him doing Fortnite dances on his balcony. Yeah, yeah, he does it yeah, all the time. He knows yeah. heaps. I think heaps. he knows them all. Yeah. All right, next question is from James Kirkpatrick. Um, <clears throat> question, who gets more drunk out of Michael and Austin? Austin's part of Shammy's Uncut Crew. Um, are they both uh, seem to have had videos in the past where they don't wake up from being drunk. Um, oh. Who's worse? <laughs> Michael would hundred in both of them in their prime. Michael wins hands down. Yeah, I'm I'm out. I'm gone. Completely gone. Yeah, he's fucking. He's literally unconscious. But and but he's been awake for three <laughs> days straight. If I wanted, no, oh, it seems dark. But like, if I was to die, that's the way to do it. Because drunk, you fucking just. I don't know what's going on. I'm out like he can slap me as hard as he wants and i will not feel a thing so you could like smash heaps of alcohol anyway it was fucking perfect for videos you being like that though but you know if yeah if that if you ever got like that again i would i reckon i'd just fucking butcher your hair <laughs> so he'd wake up looking like that fucking like that like, yeah a lot of these kind of <laughs> i remember watching we were at Chermside Shops watching UFC and Michael oh, goes, yeah. I'm going to go for a nap. Don't tell Marty. <laughs> and he walked oh. out to the car park and he just sat down in the car park and yeah. there was like a little garden bed. It was fucking disgusting. That was the day we filmed the video. Like, yeah. 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 And I, I've straight away told Marty <laughs> and gave him my phone, I think. And he went straight and started burying him in bark. bark. <laughs> that was legit. We'd been day drinking and Michael got fucking slaughter cunted. This is like after we'd only just started making money. For, so we just like we were the novelty of being able to go out and have fun was new again. And we were just like fucking getting <clears> fucked <throat> up. And Michael drank heaps during the UFC and was like, yeah, walked off. Matt told me he was fucking asleep in the car park. So I had to go and see it for myself. And then sure enough, there he was just lying on a footpath. <laughs> Near the fucking bushes, near the main Gimpy Road. Com Comfy. <laughs> completely fucked. And like annoyed that I was like putting bark on him and shit. Like didn't realize that it's like, it's not your fucking bedroom. You're fucking lying in the middle of a footpath in public. 
<laughs> yeah, well, like, you know when you just drink too much too quickly and you need to just switch off. I haven't been. I needed to go switch off for and a bit. That has never happened to me. I like, always I, walk home. Yeah, that I, that I get that drunk that I pass out and then wake back up in an hour and fine. And just well, drinking. think about it. We, we talked Westfield about this the other day. Park. I guess it was at the end of the night, but we halfway back to my house on Days Road, we had a sleep in a little island. Yeah, that, like was, that was at like fucking 5 a.m. though. Yeah, that's, that's cute. So you did like something with what, your 3 p.m. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a bit different. You're right. But yeah, I don't know. I just drank too much too quickly and needed some time to myself. So very good. <laughs> so very and good. Then just gets up and fucking starts pissing while he's facing Gimpy Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, didn't I? Think, I'm pretty sure that yeah, day got shoved the, the same bouncer when we went to go back. Another, exactly. So confused. <laughs> yeah, like you were coherent. <laughs> <laughs> the same bouncer who had seen me passed out was at a different bar. Later on. Later on working. And then we go to that bar and he's like, how the fuck are you alive? Do you, do you remember? Like, and it's like, nah. And anyway, oh. we got in. Happy days. Next question is from uh, Defy underscore you. Um, Michael, um, Marty makes lots of different sounds and noises, which makes you laugh. What's your favorite sound he makes? Technically. <laughs> That's up there lately. That's very good. <laughs> um. Uh, there's a lot of car, like if you just something starting with C or K, a lot of car or Klein. color. Klein. Yeah, Klein, Carla, Klele, like a lot of that gets me. <laughs> um, just screaming. Michael likes just straight out screaming. Or when you like, <laughs> you go to ask him something or something's been said and he quickly replies with something. It's very good because it shocks you. <laughs> the shock makes me laugh. I don't know. It depends. <clears throat> and depending on the mood. Next question is from Jai Rex. Um, and this is a bit of an explainer one as well. Yes. Sorry, I'm this. Um, can you guys please explain or elaborate on this? How do I be more be? How do you know that you've been more be once you've been more be? I don't think you really ever can know. But you can feel it. You can feel if you're being more B. Like, it's like Christian saying, you know, when you, you, you're trying to talk to God and there's those people that say, oh, fuck, man, I can't, I can't seem to hear God's voice. Like, I actually can't hear it. It's the same with being more B. Like, yeah. you can't hear it. You can't, you, can't, you can't see it, but it's happening. You can feel it. It's like, you know. It's like being, you know, some people say, oh, I'm really like spiritual. Like, what does that mean? Can you, can they see spirits and shit? No, they're just, they're just being more spiritual. You can be more, just be, just be. Because human beings, like yeah. that's it. That's the title of we're, who we're, we are. Being, like we are being. So just be more of that. Focus your attention on being. So if you're a human, like if you go out that day and you start acting like, I don't know, sometimes like an idiot this. or like a cat or a dog, which we do, we're not being completely human being. So when we're acting, when you are acting like a human being as much as possible, then you are pretty much being being, but, but you, you got to, and then from being, you got to even halve that. So you just, you be, so it's like, you can take it easy, which we do a lot too. And that, but as long as you're being be, then like taking it easy is the same as being be because you're all doing that at the same time. Next question. All right. <laughs> uh, Next uh, question is from Demon Badger. Um, Marty, what type of bird was Cryptus? I think he was a <laughs> rainbow Cryptus. rainbow lorikeet. It was hard to tell her. He was pretty severely decomposed when I already found him. Um, and some of his colors had sort of blended together. And I think there was like some um, blood had sort of bleached some of his feathers. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he was a rainbow lorikeet. Because um, when I did find him, there was other rainbow lorikeets around as well. So, yeah. Uh, next Fair question enough. is from Matthew Knowles. I have a question for Matt Brown. Uh, would you ever hit Marty and Michael with a metal chair? Don't know why he wanted me to... Wanted to know that. But no, I wouldn't. Because um, I like my friends. I'm the could nice be a one. Cool, could be a cool clip, clip, man. Could be a fucking cool clip. 
What about if it's a cool clip? If the cameras are rolling, fucking Could swing at me, cunt. Sick, oh, cunt. just come up behind me and fucking stab fucking me sick. in the neck with a fucking screwdriver, cunt. Fucking Seriously, bro. Nothing's off, off limits with tap. us, cunt. Nothing's off limits here, cunt. Nothing's off limits here, brother. There We're you all go. One big fucking unit, cunt. Fucking stab me in the back, cunt. Seriously. <laughs> I get a fucking knife, cunt, and put it in my fucking shoulder blade. <laughs> yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just fucking stab me, cunt. You fucking cunt. You fucking Man, crazy, we, uh, me, cunt. We run a muck here at Marty it's and Michael. It's fucking crazy, cunt. It's <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> we are off tap. <laughs> All right, next question. Oh, next question is from George Tomlin. Big love from the UK. You guys are pure comedy, so true. was his words. Um, do you prefer to work on your videos as a pair or do you rather work with guests like a Jackson or a Lachlan or a Michael Fallon or a Shami? It changes. It depends. Depends on what video we're filming. Sometimes we know that some of our fellow friends wouldn't be able to handle the... Uh, the depths that we have to go to to discover some answers to science so uh, sometimes the only people willing to, to trek the path is us so we don't have a choice we must go it alone brave soldiers man we are brave warrior soldier scientists yeah but um yeah like it's fun filming videos with the boys obviously like fucking it's nice having other people to fuck with and it's nice just um, having more people in the video. It's usually less work for us. But um, yeah, so a bit of both, man. Whew. Bit, bit of fucking both to tell you the <laughs> truth. Next question is from um, from James Kirkpatrick. Uh, he also asked this one. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, how long does it take to get a prank done so from the time you think of it to actually getting it finished and edited and out what what's like your well it varies time? fucking what today fuck i had squirted one some done hair removal in cream like in my hair two hours today went and got the cream put it in put on the cream then the cream's off so yeah like literally spent sometimes that they're like clips that have taken like a clip one week then you don't get another one for two months and you get another one and then you get fucking six in one day sometimes it just varies really yeah, but i've been like, saving up a fair few it scare ha- clips it has gotten um harder matt brown's in them over the years um this one is from shannon croft uh question for the podcast how come no one has ever returned to the moon <sighs> Fuck. been done been done and they're sending robots to do that now i'll tell you what mate i'll tell you something for free you want to hear it good because here it is the moon's not that great man it's just a fucking rock oh there could be some stuff on there some cheese man there's like craters and shit in it it's just a rock this is going around it gets hit by meteorites and shit nothing it just fucking sits there and spins cunt and controls the fucking water cunt you know how i see the moon you know when you go to places and there's like lots of islands and there's islands with beaches and stuff and then there's those shitty little islands that's just pure rock and you're like I don't really want to go there it looks cool but I don't want to go there yeah you wouldn't nothing on it. you wouldn't go to the moon hey it's just a sand it's protruding just a sand. out of the water if the moon were an island on earth it would just be a sand rock yeah. sticking out of the water no plants or animals on it and there'd be a dickhead with a flag running around <laughs> stabbing into the rock yeah, I guess that's what happened, right? But yeah, I reckon the moon's the moon's like so uh, long ago. Move on. Let's get to somewhere that matters, cunt. Pluto. I want to be. The, I want to be cool. up there with Venus, cunt. Nah, Pluto. It's the furthest away. Pluto's not a planet anymore. Was it Pluto? I don't know. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. 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 Yeah, it definitely was Pluto. All right, final question. Are you ready? Man, hit me with it, brother. <laughs> it is from... <laughs> oh. Strong character. Tom, Mark M. Mark em. Um, Boys, if you had to hide a block of cheese in or around your body, where would you put it and why? Just curious because I'm trying to steal cheese. Well, I guess the obvious place would be to... Undies. Well, you could cut it up in, and put it in little plastic bags and swallow the bags whole. Uh, yeah, or just into your uh, cavity, cavities. Yeah. 
You go your undies, but then it's risky, cunt, because if you get frisks or if dogs come sniff, you can't. They fucking oh, flip could be down and fucking. Okay, so if the cheese is code for drugs, no, if it's if just normal cheese, but it's what, just what, cheese, what, what dude? But if he's trying to hide, so they're the trying cheese. to steal cheese, I guess. Okay, they're trying to hide the cheese. They're not going to frisk you at a shop. Oh, yeah, well, you should be safe with your underwear. Just walk but out. I, me personally, I'd, I'd grate it and sh- shove the grated cheese up my ass. <laughs> it could work, eh? Hey? It could fully shape into like, yeah, like a, shit, a new a shit cheese. shit <laughs> tube and then you insert the shit tube. You sit it in the freezer once it's grated, once you've got your tube, dildo-shaped tube of grated cheese. I, and then... Hang on. I reckon it's... No, no, because that's going to... That's going to be like... Uh, like a dildo that you're sitting on because it's frozen you could just have the grated cheese go bit by bit time shove it up it. there because then it's easier because it's not going to be like hard and it will just go into your bowels and sit on the edges but he's going to attract you keep attention just, from but, grating it you but, can keep pushing it up there like compost but there will be shit on the all of the cheese all of it at least with the frozen there'll just be a layer of shit on the outside layer and then you get the cheese slicer and you slice the shit cheese off revealing the fresh frozen cheese underneath but you are getting it out of the shop you're not gonna have time for that Mate, you can't freeze the cheese how are you gonna grate it think of coming around imagine walking around the aisle you're working at a shop and there's this free grating cheese I'll and show you I can go to Coles get a grater stand in the corner grate the block meld it into a tube put it in their freezer section hidden behind some frozen shit right come back yeah. in the next day and shove the fucking thing up my asshole <laughs> and stroll out of there like it's no one's business. <laughs> Can you steal cheese? <laughs> like it's no one's fucking business. business. <laughs> Very good. Bravo. We can. All right, we'll do that. That's the way to steal cheese. That's the way forwards. (laughs) (laughs) That's the way forwards. Holy fuck, we're fucked. That's not good if that's the way forwards. Forwards. Dude, see. Oh, oh, you got got him. him, Watch me get him again. Watch this. Open mouth. Open mouth. And open heart and be more be. Oh, I was really believing in that. Sorry. All right, I guess it's time for our new segment where we explain shit. The segment's been renamed to. <laughs> so much moisture. Very good, very B. You That's have to have B. the moisture to get that sound. That's very B. Trust me, I tried to read that before and I couldn't <laughs> get there. <laughs> My mouth was far too dry <laughs> to read a that. Parched. A bit parched. So trust me when I say that. Is that yours? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. All right. Explainer is from Sam Warner. Hello, masters of the universe. I have something that needs explaining. What is the Big Bang Theory and how did you do it? So basically, before shit was here, cunt, these two fucking rocks, because space has got no like gravity and shit, right? So these two fucking rocks just like fucking bang into each other, like full on head on car collision. Like picture two trucks, but bigger. Four trucks just slamming into each other at like maybe a hundred mile an hour, right? So, because there's no gravity in that, there's nothing to stop the shock wave, right? So, that explosion just fucking tore shit so much up that all the little specks of shit throughout time just sort of turned into shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So basically, we're all fucking just little bits of rock and shit some dumb cunt bitch spat out when two fucking rocks slammed into each other, cunt. We're just like a rock war of like kids having a rock war under a bridge in a different universe. That's That's, what we are. That's one of it. That's one of it that happened. 
but there's yep. other parts of it that big bang yeah it's just like some an computers ex- it's an expanding head on collision with two rocks and we've once dust settles down oh dust turns into that's earth now because the plant because the energy that gets delivered out turns into suns and shit and that warms a little dust particle and that earth now and, and cunt perfect conditions here we are cunt that's and that's it. like the scientific that's... brief sort of i don't know if you could follow that but and now we'll build new simu or i guess new universes once we get higher tech yeah we've been with trying, our simulations we have actually tried to recreate the big bang once yeah we failed at that no, though we failed you guys don't see a fa- there are many f- failed science experiments that we don't even bother posting because you know no one wants to see that shit. yeah it, there wasn't enough carnage in it well it just wasn't an it wasn't a big bang it, yeah we <laughs> yeah exactly it was just two tennis balls hitting each other and we'd hit them perfectly um but yeah like we'll let you guys know about that but we're still doing our numbers and research and shit we gotta redo it eh? and i've got to redo my hypothesis at least yeah at least yeah we gotta do some theory on that one i guess and like what equipment you know yeah we gotta buy don't know, don't know what equipment <laughs> so yeah we'll come back to you with that oh yeah fuck big bangs here we are simulations tell you what we've had a couple of big bangs before (laughs) 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 fucking can't that woke Bosley from his slumber (laughs) (laughs) fucking (laughs) can't fucking (laughs) can't you fucking (laughs) can't Sorry. Uh, no wonder. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder, she said. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm going <leaving> to... <it>. Just... <laughs> next. <laughs> anyway, uh, next segment. The PO unboxing. Uh, where we open the things that you have sent in. <laughs> Live on the podcast. Yes. We don't we know what cool it is. Shit today. These could be the last moments that we're alive. Someone no. sent in a bomb or something that kills us. You just I reckon they're no. gonna be good presents. You just never know. Alright guys, we got fucking first gift here. You wanna have a look at that one, eh? That's a very bomb like. Oh, that is definitely donutty. Oh wow. No? <laughs> Greetings from Australia Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I was there recently with S. Uncle Rico vintage clothing. These are just stickers. Oh, is there a note on the back of that? David Attenborough. So I think there's a note a on the back of, of that. Photo of David Attenborough. Is there any? Has anyone written anything? Is there? I think there's a, a letter on the back there. Is there? Message. <clears throat> Marty and Michael, here are sunglasses to block out the haters and Matthew Gregory Brown's shiny head. Hopefully, Queston oh. will make a return <laughs> with his luscious hair, so you don't need them again. Oh, Thank you, a, Logan. Fucking just r- ripped me to bits. Oh. I'm wearing a hat today, whoever that was. Ooh, look at these. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, they look fucking cool. These are funky. Has anyone been seeing the Conor McGregor posts? Yeah, I love them. Really? Yeah. They really suck. Oh. <laughs> they suit me? Oh, oh my God, man. <laughs> I feel like asking you for pingers, can't. Dude. Dude. Oh, oh, more wigs. Oh man, this is a very, very good. Oh, this yes. is a very Singing good box. Uh, who is this from? This is from Hannah. Thank you very much. She sent a fuck load of socks, which is like always need socks. Oh, wigs. shotgun, new wigs, another wig. Oh, I saw a fucking three pack Kinder Surprise. Oh, his favorite. Fuck yes, more cocks. Oh yes, Bumblebee. A Yowie for Matt. I Be love Yowies B. too. Dude, holy shit! Oh man, shit. this is turning into a very good box so far. What else have we got? I'm like halfway through it. Oh, we got an alien. Another We've got one. two aliens now. We got four. Oh my god. We got a couple of aliens that got sent in. We got another Yowie, Matt. I'll have that one. Oh yes, that's my treat for later. We got. Let me read this letter. 
All right. The bottom is a bomb. Hey guys, no no read to no need to read the note out. Just wanted to say thanks for the great content. You guys are so funny. So I'm just catching up with all your podcasts when I brought up one of the alien things I didn't realize you had already been sent one. Oops, sorry about that. My bad. No, the more aliens, the better, Hannah. Mm. It's fine. Yeah, we'll have a whole desk of aliens. Thanks for all the laughs on the podcast and on the university page. You guys are the best. And also the sunnies are from Uncle Rico. Um, did Marty so get a pair thank of you. sunnies? Just want to open up the other one. Yeah. See and these, uh, a yeah, cow same, thing. Same ones. Sweet. And a cow. What is it? A onesie? Oh, yeah. It's a fucking cow onesie only for holy hand. shit oh my god matt this is the next photo shoot this is your name written all over it me taking you down <laughs> oh, oh, you yeah, that <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right let's see if we quickly follow rage so it's a very lovely rachel very lovely do you understand all right fucking hell thank you very much guys that's uh, absolutely lovely and um <laughs> boy oh boy i can't wait i'm having a yowie right now i don't know about you guys <laughs> yeah i'm tempted but oh wait, oh, I'm gonna have the munchies later. Why? <laughs> Thank you, everyone. That's lovely. Yeah, very good. That's so great. So mate, much. Everyone. Yeah, that's no. There was yeah. no gremlin shit there. This is good. <laughs> that was fucking great. All right, Ma- got- Michael, can you show me your shirt? It's got a wolf on it. He got it from the uh, markets. I bet. Yeah, yeah. I did. See, mm. guessed it. Um, is that we're prank call now? That's it. Yeah, Are we missing something? Well, we've been uh, skipping German. Segment yeah, German awesome. segment. It's coming. I, th- I believe Nikki's working on some more phrases. Is that correct? No, I don't, don't think so. Oh, okay, well, um, <laughs> maybe I don't. I, maybe I made that up and told you that, but I don't think so. No, I'll ask her. I do believe you made that up. Okay, <laughs> you lied to me about that. So the German segment will make a return in some way, shape, or form. We need the German in the segment. I think it's there. We just got to find ones that ah we haven't read. But well, yeah, we've got them jumbled up. So sorry. Um, fucking hell, man. Uh, righto. Let's fucking jump into this prank call, man. You ready, Matt? Mm-hmm. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hello? Hello? Hello, I miss your phone call. Yeah, um, can I book in a massage for uh, myself? Oh, but today... Uh, for tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, okay. What time would you like to be here tomorrow? Uh, maybe 4 p.m. Uh, 4 p.m., okay, no problem. Yeah. Um, so you want the hour? Yeah, just for the hour. And um, uh, I don't know if you guys do... Do you guys do like um, happy endings? Oh, we do good massage. Okay, great. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, my name... Yeah. Is Michael. Uh, Michael, okay. See you... Uh, I, will tell another, I will tell another lady 4 p.m. waiting for you. Perfect. Wanking for oh. me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Anyway, uh, on with the prank call. Hey, what am I doing again? Oh, yeah. Restaurants. Leave all that in, Connor. <laughs> Leave all that in. Um, I want people to see that, that you know, even even <laughs> us, even we do things that are shit. Happens <laughs> sometimes. you got to fail to win. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Hello, uh, my name is uh, Arnold Fine. Uh, I look uh, to uh, book a table for two people. Uh, tomorrow night, huh? Yeah, just one second. So that was for Wednesday? Uh, yeah, Wednesday or maybe, uh, maybe 7 p.m. if, uh, if you have. 7 p.m., yeah. Can I please have a name for that? Yes, uh, my name Arnold Fine. Arnold? Arnold Fine. Yeah. And, uh, I have a request, uh, my <laughs> wife, uh, my wife is sick. Uh, she uh, need to, uh, she have uh, assistance uh, animal. Do you okay with uh, she bring in her uh, assistance uh, animal? Uh, is this a dog, a guy dog? Uh, no, it's uh, similar, uh, similar, very uh, same thing. Uh, it's, a, it's a pig, it's a pig, uh, a large pig. It help uh, with um, walking and... Um, I take her to toilet and uh, she very she my wife my wife is sick. 
<laughs> very so sick. Give me, I'll, just, I'll just ask about that. So just give me one second. Okay, okay. I pay for pig. I pay for pig to come too if need. Okay, I I pay extra. My wife, my wife needs the pig. That or we cannot uh, go to dinner. Eh? You understand? Yeah. Yep. I just want to ask first. Just one second, please. Okay, hurry up. I'm not pushing the limit. I'm not squatting on car. I'm not squatting on car. I'm not fine. Arnold Fein is squatting on Korka. Arnold Fein, Arnold Fein, Arnold, Arnold, Arnold Fein, Arnold Fein. My wife is sick. Arnold Fein. Hello? Hello? Uh, yes, so I asked um, my boss and she said that we can't allow any pets inside, but we do have a sitting area on the outside if you'd like. Okay, uh, so I can bring uh, the pig uh, for outside seat? Yeah. Okay, the big pig, maybe 100 uh, kilo. Um, and uh, maybe a uh, big table. And uh, the pig can um, sit on the, the table there and uh, flicking around while we uh, mm, eat a dinner. And if my wife needs the pig, uh, the pig can come out from under table and uh, take her to toilet. Our tables are quite small, mm. and there is a pathway. And uh, why not uh, sit inside? Eh? Why you uh, why you not uh, sit inside? It's cold at night. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, but my own uh, boss says that we can't have pets inside. Do you uh, serve the pe Do you serve a pork dish? A pork dish? Yeah, you serve pork on your dinner, huh? Uh, yes, we do. So how come uh, pork allow in a restaurant uh, for cook, but uh, not to help my sick wife? Huh? Uh, the pig is the same thing. Huh? The pig uh, on the plate, the pig uh, on the ground, uh, that's the same thing. Huh? Uh, please, please let me please speak to uh, your manager. It make uh, no sense. Uh, crazy shit, my wife. My wife is sick. Yeah, please, uh, let me speak to manager. This is crazy. You have a pig in store. You give a pig to people who pay. Eh? I bring pig in uh, to help my wife. For free. For free. Hello, uh, Hello, I uh, speak uh, to uh, staff. She say, uh, you take no assistance uh, animal. Uh, you do not let in a restaurant, huh? But uh, I have a pig, it's a large pig, uh, maybe 100 kilo uh, pig. And I say to girl, I say, uh, you serve, you serve pig in, uh, in the restaurant, no? You serve uh, the pork? So how come uh, you let uh, pig in the restaurant, but uh, no pig in to uh, help my sick wife? I'm really sorry about that, sir, because we, in the restaurant, I told you that we have only one door and then the... But the you already have a pig in the restaurant. Uh, right now you have a pork in the restaurant, no? Yeah, that's, that's, that's uh, so what? Uh, what are the difference if a pig is a breathing or not a breathing? I understand. I'm very sorry about that, but yeah, we we can. My wife cannot go to toilet without a pig to lean on. The pig Lee walk next to her big fat pig, and she lean on it to flick flick around to the uh, toilet and uh, uh, help her with the mush, make mush mush. And they come back to table. That's all. The pig, very clean, very clean animal. Okay, I'm very sorry about that again, sir. But we can do outside for you. Okay, okay. I come outside with the pig. The pig come, uh, but we sit outside, yeah. No, we don't have pig here, sir. That's a. That's oh, so no pig uh, outside or inside. Okay. No, no pig outside or inside. So what a pig outside and more door outside? If someone sees, I can. 
You do, you serve a pork to your customer and do you do not a... <laughs> that is crazy talk. <laughs> you think it's fine to bring the pig because it's just they serve the pig. <laughs> that was up there with one of my favorites. That was so good, oh, man. Fun. Oh my god, I'm fucking crying. Oh, he that just was, knows how to get it done, doesn't he? That was so good. Well, it makes sense. It's like you can't have rules like that. <laughs> you're saying no animals don't have animals in it there. went from you were allowed to have the pig outside to nothing, <laughs> to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she must have thought it was a dog yeah yeah, yeah man, once they misinterpreted what she said she's like yeah you can bring your pig and <laughs> you rock up with a pig oh fuck man you saved their lives Oh, anyway, uh, we're going to enjoy these uh, chocolates that you guys sent in. Really appreciate everything you guys do for us. Uh, don't forget to like the video and uh, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to do all that. Uh, show it to your friends. Uh, spread it via word of mouth. Share you, it. YouTube, send it viral, man. YouTube restricts everything that we do. So just just send it. We're relying on you guys. Uh, love you play guys. Play it in your workplace. Um, play, put it on repeat, man. You don't even need your headphones on, man. Get Talk to your friends about <laughs> us. <laughs> anyway, but anyway, everyone, we'll catch you later. We're um, the best. We're the best, we're the best, we're the best, 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 we're the best, we're the best, we're the best, 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 we're the best, we're the best, we're the best, 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 we're the best, we're the best, we're the best, 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 we're the best, best, best. There's the word best is in asbestos.